is meant to be a Christmas video. That's better. Alright, so for today's craft, we're going to be making a ficus uh, wreath using some creeping ficus, creeping fig, and this little wreath that I picked up, not from the Christmas section of Kmart, it was from the normal craft section, I think it might have been like six bucks, or whatever, and then I also have some hessian that I got in a flower um, bouquet that I'm going to make into a bow for it. I've got some string to tie the plant on. I've got some pre-moistened sphagnum. Nice and damp. Not soaking wet though. Let's start by trying to make this bow uh, and hoping not to burn myself with the hot glue gun. So I think what I'm going to do is glue the bow and the tassels both separately to make it easier. So I'm going to cut off the bit that I want to be the tassels. Just heating up. Oh, oh we have action. It is, it is hot. It's not just a glue gun. Excellent. So, I'm going to start by gluing the bow pieces in together. And immediately touching the hot glue to my finger. Well done. Beautiful. Here's the start of our bow. Okay, I think that works. But I also think that I want to squeeze the bow together a bit. So... Oh no, where did my glue stick go? There it is. So... I stick some glue in here. That's leaking through to my fingers. Did you really uh, use hot glue if you didn't burn yourself with the hot glue? I don't think you did. It's part of using hot glue. It's a necessity. You must burn yourself with hot glue in order to prove that you have actually used hot glue. That's not very even, but that's okay, I think once I put this on, it'll work out. I think this bit needs to come out of here. I think that much is too much. Okay. Yeah, that's working better. Okay. That's definitely the back because it's hideous. Oh my gosh. That glue is hot. I'm not gonna touch it this time. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Other than the burns I've caused myself, we have ourselves our boat. Now we're ready to actually do the wreath part. 
So I thought about using soil for this initially, and then I thought, no, that's just going to make this whole thing just uh, rot really quickly, essentially. So I'm not going to be using any soil in it, just sphagnum. And I'm definitely using creeping fig because it's so sturdy. It's pretty much a weed. Oh, this bit is the best bit. That's gonna go great. So anywhere you put it, it will grow like crazy. Actually, maybe I should hot glue this on before I even do the ficus part of it. Well, that's pretty much all glued on there now anyway. I mean, what can't hot glue do? Cure diseases, I guess. Okay. Next step. So yeah, you don't want to let ficus, uh, this ficus go crazy in your yard because you'll never get rid of it and you will regret that essentially. But um, I think I'm going to put most of it down the bottom because it's going to want it grow up just naturally and that will give me a nicer appearance to my wreath as the plant matures. I'm just going to tie it on with kitchen twine at the moment. look too bad. Doesn't look too good as what some people might say. <laughs> Alright. And I'm going to pack some new sphagnum on as well. And that's where I'm going to put my less good cuttings. And I'm just going to wrap the sphagnum with the twine. Keep it in nice and tight. That way I don't have to tie the plant on tightly because the sphagnum will be tied on pretty tightly. Like these two cuttings here. So again, just going to carefully tie them on, not too tightly. But tightly enough that they're not going to go for a wander anywhere. to my attention that when I'm doing things like this in my videos I look really angry. What can I say? It just takes concentration for okay? Okay? I just need to concentrate on what I'm doing because uh, brain power is not that great. Especially when I'm doing it like after a long day of work or something. Usually I do this kind of thing on my own. No one's watching me, so it doesn't really matter if I have an angry face while I'm trying to concentrate. I'd argue it probably doesn't even matter now that I have an angry face when I'm trying to concentrate. It's just I've never been aware of it in the past. Obviously. Because why would I be? Alright, the final piece of the puzzle is going to go over this side.
can see I did a really good job of wrapping this magnum considering it's falling off a bit as it is. Oh, that's a sharp spot. Just gonna tuck some of that back in again. And there we have it. A nice little Christmas wreath. I'm gonna put a bit more sphagnum in the back here actually. Kind of a few little holes in the back here that I'm gonna fill up with some of this sphagnum that I have sitting here. But yeah, essentially that is the wreath. I just need to hang it on my door. And um, hopefully it grows really well. I just need to keep it moist this summer so that the um, fig cuttings don't dry out too much and die. Um, and then I'll probably end up taking the bow off it after Christmas time but leaving it on my door because I like it quite a lot. So that's it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, if you want to see more, feel free to like and subscribe. If you hated it, feel free to like and subscribe. And um, I have one more Christmas craft in store before Christmas. And then it'll be back to regular videos again that don't involve Christmas. But do sometimes involve craft. So, see you guys next time.